program, Biodiversity, Water Resources and Climate Change Impacts in the Tropical Andes of Peru, organized by the Mining Engineering Section at Pontifical Catholic University of Peru, is an excellent opportunity for both international and also Peruvian students to explore Peru's extremes, climatic, ecosystemic and also cultural diversity. Students will acquire key knowledge in interrelated fields of biodiversity, water resources, climate change impacts and also glaciology in the Andean environment and also adjacent lowlands at the dry Pacific coast of Peru. The cold, nutrient-rich Peruvian sea represents one of the most productive marine ecosystems worldwide. Despite its latitudinal position close to the equator, the Peruvian coast represents one of the world's driest deserts due to its special climatic settings. Therefore, species have to cope with high aridity. During austral winter, a special plant community develops at the Pacific Andean foothills called Lomas Formation. These fog oases are supplied by oceanic moisture and drizzle. Specific adaptations resulting in high endemism allow species to resist water scarcity and efficiently use the short wet season. Further upstream, in the tropical Andes almost all main rivers originate from glaciers with headwaters above 5000 meters above sea level. With around 500 square kilometers glacier area, the Cordillera Blanca in Ancash represents the largest tropical glacier mountain range worldwide, but has been severely affected by massive ice loss corresponding to about 35% glacier area reduction in the last 40 years. As virtual water towers, Glaciers have been a fundamental sustention of Andean and coastal livelihoods for thousands of years of human history. Direct glacier and high Andean lake water discharge constitute a vital continuous water supply for many settlements, agricultural irrigation, hydropower generation and mining use, particularly during the dry season. This natural buffer ring system of climate seasonality and variability is likely to deteriorate, triggered by all over retreating glaciers, shifts in climatic patterns, but also changes in water allocation. Robust adaptation and integrative water management strategies, including stakeholders, are challenged by severe impacts from local and global change and resulting conflicts over water resources. <music>